This case might be one of the best all-around cases I have seen from UAG yet. Let's see in this video if this is worth the $65 price tag that Best Buy is asking for in the video coming up. So this is the UAG Metropolis LT Pro case for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. It's Kevlar Black. Yes, you can get it for $64.95 over at Best Buy right now. I'll leave a link in the description for you if you are interested. The Metropolis Light Series now with an upgraded design is built to provide real world protection for your device. Crafted with strong TPU frame and impact absorbing inner bumper. Sculpted corners for reinforced drop protection. Strong built in magnet module for MagSafe charging compatibility and we're going to test that. Complete with a seamless premium Kevlar material inlay. And that is so nice. Got that Kevlar built in. Functionality and protection in perfect harmony. And we're going to see about that too. One of the most important features for you might be its drop protection. For some reason, online they have it listed as 16 foot drop protection, but right here you can see that it's 18 foot drop protection. If you drop your phone, it's probably not going to be from 18 feet anyway, so you're probably going to be okay. It's got a soft raised screen surround to protect the screen and raised camera bezel to protect the lenses. The feather like composite construction featuring a PC impact frame. Thin profile doesn't add any bolt and easily fits in one's pocket or bag. So let's get into this case and let's see what it's all about. It's got pretty nice packaging. I like that UAG includes the ability to be able to open this thing up just like that. And let's toss this thing off to the side. Here it is, the case, and here's the Kevlar that they were talking about. It's got some interesting words right here. Military standard 810G516.6. That must be some sort of actual official number they have there for their drop tests. I don't know anything about that, uh, but that's nice to know. Urban Armor gear, and look at these buttons. They're nice and big. You're not gonna miss those. They're kind of inset a little bit right there, so that way they don't add too much bulk to the case. You see that they're in line with this and this here, and they're just cut out here, so that way you know where those buttons are. The inside has a honeycomb finish to it, and you can see that MagSafe there, that ring. And yep, we have MagSafe cases. I don't know, you might feel like, hey, it's an Android, you don't need MagSafe. You might as well. If you've got something like this, you might as well have some MagSafe and take advantage of it. Interesting though, that it covers the lens. That's one thing we have to take a look at. If you're taking pictures, you're gonna have to remove your MagSafe. So, you know, for me, I don't know if that is good, but we'll see about that. So. The bottom has wide open ports. You're gonna have plenty of space for that S Pen there. And the other side is nice because it does kind of copy the same design as this on the side. It adds to the feel, the whole feel of the case. It's got a cutout right here for the microphone. And yeah, let's see what this thing is like on the phone after I give this thing a little bit of a twist test here. And it is a flimsy case. It could pretty much fold in half if you wanted it to. The sides are pretty sturdy. It's not one of the most durable cases. It is considered a light case. So it's their light series. And yes, I took the S Pen out. So I usually put the top in first and then the bottom in like that. I took the S Pen out because I've noticed I have a bunch of cases here and the S Pen gets pushed and it ends up wanting to kind of poke out and it'll be hanging out and I won't know that it's actually opened up like this. So it's just chilling there like that. And I don't want it to accidentally fall out. Here's what it's like on the phone with no screen protector, which I'll be putting a screen protector on it soon. The white stone dome glass. There's the cutout for the speaker there. You've got plenty of lay on table protection and the sides of the phone do come up with about even with the display there. It's got perfect cutouts for the camera. It looks really nice. A little tiny gap around those lenses there. And I did not know this until I read the directions or read the specs, but it has MagSafe and yes, it will hold the phone. It does a good job with that. They added that taper there, they cut that off. And your finger doesn't really rest on anything sharp down here, which is pretty nice there. And here is a battery charger by Anchor and it's MagSafe. And it turned on by itself and it is charging, yep. It will charge. I do like this case. I like UAG. The only thing is with UAG, you get a one year warranty. Where if you go with Autobox, which is about the same price, you get a lifetime warranty. Or even something like Gear 4 
from Zag. Get that same lifetime warranty. With UAG, nope, they're not doing that. But they're just killing it with the design. It looks really, really nice and it feels good in the hand. I was so surprised by this case when I took it out of the box. The back, it doesn't feel slippery. We're gonna do a front pocket test and a back pocket test. So without the case, here's what you get. Can't really tell it's there, except for the sharp corners right here. With the case on. Yeah, you can tell something's there, but it's not bad. And these are slim fit pants and they're kind of stretchy. So let me give you a good example of what it would be like. UAG made a good case.